astrocytes can control and contribute to CNS pathology in multiple ways. First of all, astrocytes perform a lot of functions in the context of homeostasis and health, such as controlling the blood brain barrier function, providing nutrients to uh, neurons, providing neurotrophic factors. Many of those functions are actually impaired in the context of neurodegeneration. On top of that, Astrocytes gain pathogenic activities or activities that promote CNS pathology, such as the ability to recruit uh, inflammatory and neurotoxic cells from the periphery into the CNS via the production of chemokines, the ability to activate CNS resident cells so they themselves gain uh, neurotoxic activity via, for example, the production of cytokines. And finally, astrocytes themselves, they do have neurotoxic activity that obviously they can use in order to promote new degeneration. So it is very important to understand if we accept that astrocytes can perform multiple, uh, can play multiple roles in the context of new degeneration, it's important to understand what are the pathways that control those functions. And indeed, if we go there, it's even more important to understand the different subsets of astrocytes that might operate in order to promote and limit inflammation. So over the years we've been working in, we've worked in trying to characterize new subsets of astrocytes. We have been able to characterize what we believe are disease-promoting astrocytes uh, and also subsets of astrocytes that seem to limit CNS inflammation. When we focus on those that promote CNS inflammation, we identified, uh, for example, an important role for pollutants, an important role for cell-cell interactions, an important role, for example, for cytokines in boosting astrocyte pathogenic activities. Um, when we focus specifically in some of those pathways, we recently made a discovery. We developed a new technique, which we call uh, RabbitSeq, which allows us to study cell-cell interactions because we have identified cell-cell interactions as a central mechanism driving uh, disease-promoting and disease-arresting activities of astrocytes. And by applying this new technique, we were able to identify cell-cell interactions between astrocytes and microglia, mediated by Ephraim B3 expressed in microglia and FB3 expressed in astrocytes as an important factor driving astrocyte pathogenic activities. In mechanistic studies, we actually established that this signaling pathway activates mTOR signaling in astrocytes and that results in the activation of neurotoxic activities. 